Hi guys, in today's video I will show you how to turn any image or a logo into a 3D easy in After Effects using Element 3D plugin. I don't share too much Element tutorials and in case you want more to learn about it, simply let me know in the comments below. And now let's begin. I have downloaded two PNG logos here and I will use an Instagram one. Since it's more colorful and more interesting to work with, let's drag and drop it into AE Timeline. I will toggle off my clip for a while so we can see all changes clearly. Now pre-compose your logo layer and name it logo, then make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Duplicate logo layer now and select bottom one and rename it to texture. Select logo layer again and then go to layer, and here select auto trace. In popped up window copy my settings and then hit OK. You will see several masks around your logo and that's what we need for our 3D logo. So now make sure to toggle off logo and texture layers and then create new solid layer. Name it element and then make sure the size is the same as your composition, in my case it's 1080 by 1920. Now hit OK and then apply element plugin on that solid layer. Expand custom layers, then custom text and masks and change path layer 1 to a logo layer. Expand custom texture maps and change layer 1 to a texture layer. Now let's hit on scene setup and once element window opens, make sure to click on extrude. And here we have our logo as a 3D model, but it has no textures yet. Let's expand extrusion model and then select bevel 1. Under a bevel we can adjust our 3D model, I will simply increase extrude maybe something like that, looks fine to me and now make sure to check use layer as UV. It's important to check, otherwise your 3D model will be messed up and the texture won't be clean. Now scroll down till textures and click on diffuse, click here where none set is, then click on that arrow and select custom layer 1, and as you see now we have a textures as well, so hit OK now and let's quickly check our 3D model and once we are happy with it, then we can click OK here. Let's expand group 1, then expand particle replicator and here we can control the position of it. Also expand rotation and control X, Y and Z rotations if needed. Under a particle look, you can control the scale of the model as well. And now let me show you the most interesting part of this tutorial, or how to animate this 3D logo now. First let's toggle off element layer and then toggle on our clip, then make sure the clip is selected and then click on track camera. As the analyzing is done, select some points in your video. Then right click and select, set ground plane and origin. Right click again and select create solid and camera. Now move element layer above track solid and toggle it on. Under a particle replicator reposition the logo until it looks fine to you. Let's check if it's tracked perfectly. In my case everything looks smooth, I will just play around with the position a little bit more. And now make sure you are at the very beginning of your element layer and then expand multi-object. If you can't find it, just make sure to expand particle look. Now check enable multi-object and then under a rotation if we bump up the last rotation here, you will have that cool animation. Another cool thing what I like is that position noise. Let's go up to rotation again and click on the last rotation stopwatch icon and then bump it up a bit. Now scroll to the end of an element layer and then right click on rotation and select reset to bring the value to default. Let's quickly check it. Look how satisfying it is, but let me enable motion blur on element layer and let's check it again. With motion blur it looks way smoother and better. Once you are done, make sure to toggle off track solid and you are ready to go. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.